Hi everyone, it's Roger here from what's on DisneyPlus.com. A quick news update for you guys on how Netflix is trying to combat Disney Plus. But before we get into any of that, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. So as we all know, the streaming wars are in full swing with so many different companies having their streaming services launch and they're all trying to grab as many subscribers as they possibly can. This past week, Netflix had its quarterly results and they were able to pull in an extra 8.5 million subscribers globally, going over 200 million subscribers subscribers as a massive amount of subscribers around the world and they want to stay at the top and they see not lots of competition coming in from Disney they really do think um, Disney Plus is pretty much their kind of the, I think their biggest competition right now with the news of them hitting over 200 million subscribers it sent the stock price rising and obviously it's just great news for Netflix there's so much um, content available so many big shows and they are continuing to plow more and more money into making it original programming in a statement to investors the company recognized the impact other streaming services such as Disney Plus have been having on Netflix. The big growth in streaming entertainment has led legacy competitors like Disney, Warner Media, and Discovery to compete with us in new ways which we have been expecting for many years. This is in part why we have been moving so quickly to grow and further strengthen our original content library across a wide range of genres and nations. Netflix knew this was all going to be happening. They saw where it was going. They saw that with you know going for contracts and stuff years ago and they knew they had to invest in this original programming because they didn't have the massive amount of legacy content that Warner or Disney had so they had to create new stuff. They also know that new stuff is what brings people in and makes people stick around it has to be this consistently having new things drop that's why Netflix announced over 60 movies this past week there's gonna be a new movie dropping pretty much every single week of the year they know they need to keep it up in order to keep people subscribed Netflix is the big one but there's so much competition that they know something's going on during the company's investor call Netflix co-CEO Reed Hastings spoke about the success of Disney Plus and how they're planning to combat it it's super impressive what Disney has done it's incredible execution for incumbent to pivot that's so great and it shows that members are interested and willing to pay for more content because they're hungry for great stories and Disney does have some great stories it gets us fired up about increasing our membership increasing our content budget and it's going to be great for the world that Disney and Netflix are competing show by show movie by movie we're very fired up about catching them in family animation maybe eventually passing them we will see a long way to go to catch them and maintaining our lead in general entertainment that's so stimulating there's very little doubt that Disney is really bringing the A game to try and take out Netflix. Just the inclusion of Star Internationally that's coming in place next month in like Australia and Europe and in Canada, that is going to have a big impact on the amount of subscribers they can keep and reduce that churn as there's more stuff available. Now, as far as Netflix going after family animation, it's definitely a big, bold move for Netflix to say they want to go after family animation and beat Disney. Because let's be honest, Disney have been doing this for nearly 100 years. They are the kings. They make stuff that nobody else can do, and they consistently do it. They're just constantly bringing things out, and Netflix is going to have to do a lot to do there. Ultimately, as well, Disney have got a system that they've got in place. They've got the people there. They've got the talent. They've also got how to do it. They've got that history. But they're also not just making money from streaming, they're also making money from theme parks, from merchandise and from other things as well. Disney know how to make that work and Netflix are right to go after it because kids streaming content is so important. It really did show when the 2020 information came out about what people were watching. The Disney Plus movies were just dominating Netflix. Netflix own the series for adults but in general entertainment for kids, they aren't doing anything like it. So I think Netflix are going to go in on that much harder. And that's also really going to make Disney better. And they're going to have to push harder. Disney have kind of built the whole company around this. And yeah, I can't see Netflix um, making a big dent in it. But they're going to bring competition. Maybe more so than Universal or Warner Brothers maybe have ever done. They're going to bring their A game. And that's going to make Disney go in more harder. And ultimately, as a Disney Plus subscriber, that means that we should end up getting more content, better content, and that's ultimately what we want. This competition is good for us as subscribers. It's going to help keep the prices down. It's going to help continue giving us more content. It's going to give us better content. And just as a whole, well, I think this is great for us to have the competition between all these different streaming services because they're going to have to keep proving why they want your monthly subscription.
option. But let me know in the comments below if you agree with Netflix about their ideas of going after Disney for family entertainment. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow, and subscribe. Also, a huge thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon and also on our YouTube channel memberships. And I'll just see you guys in another video. Laters.